hey guys welcome back to another video in this series of python for beginners and in today's video we are going to talk about functions so let's get started so the first thing is a function is a group of statements commands that together perform a task so if you want to perform a task you can write them in a group of statements and in a function second point it it is reusable and can be called any number of times so you have to write it once and you can just call it any number of times third point is function is declared with a name and is called or executed by that name only so if you give a fun if you give a name to a function you have to call by it that name only next point is a function may or may not have any arguments to accept or return any data so function is somewhat like parameterized or non parameterized so if a function is parameterized you have to pass an argument or a num any number of arguments and in case it is non parameterized function then you don't have to pass anything it may or may not return any data so the next point is types so the first is built in second is user defined and third is anonymous so the first one is built in built in function is already available function so when you install python in any system it comes with that user defined function is a function that is created by the users in order to perform any task in order to get any result and the third one is anonymous which is also known as lambda function so let's talk about the syntax so the first one is built in function for example a print function len function we do not create it we just use it as you have seen in the previous video we have just used it how did we, how did we use it where did it come from so it was internally built in function which came with the installation of python so if you want to check i can show you the link so if you go through this link these are the built in functions so there are number of built in functions you can see over here they are in alphabetical order from a till z and you can go through it all the functions have some functions to do and this is defined over here so you can go through it and understand what exactly is happening so this is the link docs.python.org three library functions.html that's all perfect now let's move forward in the user defined function so it is created by users to get a certain result and the syntax is def you can give the name of the function and after that you have to give brackets colon and then just below that you have to do something and print anything so here you can see that i have printed hey i'm a function and in the third one i'm calling it function calling the function by my underscore function which is this one so once this get calls it will the call will go over here and it print it we'll see the demo in the third one we can talk is lambda functions so small anonymous functions that can take any number of arguments but can have only one expression so this is the syntax lambda argument with the expression so x equal to lambda a colon a plus 20 so when i make a call like print x 10 this 10 value will go in a and a plus 10 20 equal to 30 because a is 10 over here and then it will print a value of 30 so that's how it works guys now let's talk about there are two types of function with and without parameter so what is parameter and what is argument so parameters are the names used when defining a function or a method and into which arguments will be mapped in other words arguments are the things which are supplied to any function or method called while the function or method code refers to the arguments by the parameter names for an example if i write def sum a and b so here a and b are both the parameters while calling sum we'll pass some argument which is 10 and 20 so here 10 and 20 are the argument passed and a non-parameterized function is the one in which to which no argument are passed and it contains no parameters while declaration so these are the types so now we'll move to the demo part before moving to the demo part i'll just request that if you have not subscribed my channel yet kindly do so so let's dive right into the demo part so as you can see that i have created a folder function over here and in that i have written four python files so let's get started if you click on the first one you can see that i have declared dog and i have given a value husky over here which contains five characters now if i use the inbuilt function print you can see that it is showing you i'm printing dog but dog has a value of husky so it will print husky but now i don't i want how much integers sorry how much characters are there in dog so i am using len function for that if you hover over it it will say that return the number of items of a container in an integer format so let's just run it and see what happens you can see 
it's 5 so 1 2 3 4 5 so total number of 5 do not get confused by index and the total number of characters index is 0 1 2 3 4 and the total values are 5 let's move on to user defined function so you can use hash in order to comment anything so that python will not read it and ignore it we have created a function by starting def and greet so greet after that we have used you can see if I hover over it, function greet and it says it's a literal hi you are in a greet function after that this is how you declare a function we all know that after that I've given a message hi you are in greet function and I'm trying to return it but when I'm returning this someone who calls the function has to catch this value so for that I have introduced message variable and then I'm calling greet so as soon as I call greet the control go over greet and go inside and this value is returned now this value has to be now this value has to be catch somewhere so this is message in which I'm catching it and I'm printing the message so let's see what happens we clear this I'll just type 0 2 hit enter hi you are in greet function perfect and that's what we needed let's go to parameterized functions so parameterized functions again I told you that you have to define def add the number add the number is my function name and inside that I have given two parameters a and b and where this parameter the value comes from someone who calls the function so what this function is doing is just returning the addition of two numbers now I have a call over here at the number after passing two arguments so 10 will be mapped to a 20 will be mapped to b now once this value goes over here it goes inside and return 10 plus 20 equal to 30 and that value has to be caught somewhere so this is sum in which I am catching it and then I am printing sum you can add a string like this and add a comma to print a value now let's just test it so 0 3 enter and you can see total is 30 perfect and this is what we wanted let me just clear it and let's move to the anonymous or lambda function now what we'll do over here is again the same thing program to show the use of lambda function double lambda x colon x into 2 so the value of x will be defined by this so if i give 10 over here 10 will go to x into 220 and then lambda x will have that value and goes to the double and i'm trying to print the double so this double will make a call with a with an argument of 10 and this goes over here which means it will be 20 so let's just run it and the answer is 20. so these four things are the very basic example of functions inbuilt functions user defined functions parameterized function anonymous or a lambda function it has so much scope in the future. We'll talk about that later in this course. So I hope you guys have understood it. If there is any issue, feel free to comment below and we'll address that. So thanks guys and I'll see you in the next video.